All right, how you doing? This is Dan from Mossy Creek Soaps. Getting ready to make that soap that uh, I put the recipe up on AR15.com. Essentially, it's kind of a hunter soap or, or a naked soap. There's no fragrances and no color is going to be in it. It's just straight coconut oil, olive oil, and uh, uh, sunflower oil. I have the recipe up here so that I can reference it while I'm making this. First thing is, of course, all your safety equipment. You want to make sure that your mouth's covered. Lie is nasty. Get your eyes and your hands. All right. First thing we want to do is we're going to add in the uh, the amount of water that we need. You have to use distilled water. If you use any of the other water that you see, as you add in the lye, it will precipitate out all the other uh, um, chemicals that are in there. Okay, so we need 340, yep, got a little too much. 354 grams of water. some water now onto the lye. You have to reset it, set the tar. Now you put the lye into a separate container until you get it measured out of course. In this particular case you could use Red Devil lye as I put on the post. We happen to order a bunch of lye. I keep it in multiple separate containers so it doesn't react. The moisture in the air is enough to make uh, lye begin to react. It will draw uh, moisture straight out of the air. Okay, I'm at zero. And I need Oh, I need more water. <laughs> I need 354 grams of uh, lye. Great. We use grams instead of ounces. It's a little bit more precise. It's also humid today, so it's already beginning to draw moisture out of the air. All right, that'll work. Seal it, try to get all of the air out of it as I can. As I said, it will react. Since I screwed up the measurement on the water, let's put the water back on and get that right. It's actually 877 grams of water. Start over with when they got water. Okay, it's 
817, I need 877. Seventy-seven. Now you have your two components. Begin the lye process. You always pour the lye into the water, not the water into the lye. That could cause an explosion or it'll blow out. Mix the lye in kind of slowly. You can see that it's already starting to draw the, draw the moisture out of the air. When that happens, usually try and get as much of it out as I possibly can. This is very caustic, so I'm just going to set it down on the cement for now. You'll notice right now it's white. The lye is currently reacting rather heavily. You can smell it in the air, and it's adding, putting out quite a bit of heat. As it mixes in, it'll become clear. One of the reasons I put this down on the cement, I've noticed over time that as I put these containers onto my uh, desktop, onto the, uh, the top of my workbench, it starts to eat through the wood. Alright, that's clear enough. It looks like everything's mixed in. I don't have any uh, uh, grains on the bottom. So now I check the temperature on it. We're about right now 190 so 190 degrees we need to let this cool down to about 100 110 in the meantime while we're waiting on that to cool let's go work on the oils